How to import fonts on CapCut Mac. First of all, if you don't have a font yet, you might want to go to thefont.com and find a font. Once you have found the font that you would like to download, simply click on download. Then unzip the zip file containing your font. Then open up the folder. And now to install your font, all you need to do is to double click on the file with the file ending OTF. In my case, it actually says replace because it is already installed. But if it's the first time that you install a font, it will simply say install for you instead. So click on that to install. Now your custom font is already installed on your Mac. To use it in CapCut now, if you're already running CapCut, make sure to close CapCut and reopen it again. Once you have done that, make sure that you have a text element on your timeline. If you don't have that yet, you can go to text here in the upper left corner of the screen and then add a default text element by simply tapping here on the plus symbol. This will add a default text element to your timeline. And now to access your newly added font on CapCut Mac, make sure that the text element is selected and then go to font on the upper right and find your new font. You will usually find newly added fonts under system font. Once you have used it once, you will also find it here under recently used. So let me just find Retronoid here under system font as well. And here it is. And as I just said, if you already used it once, you will also find it here under recently used. And sure enough, we have Retronoid here as well. And this is how you install custom fonts on CapCut Mac. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Peace out.